Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Fishing Fitz, and today, just to kind of start things off, I have some bad news. The two fish that I actually got in my last video died. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. I was changing the water, and I had put them back into the tank for probably about 10 or 15 minutes, and then they slowly just started to turn over. I think the reason why the fish ended up dying is because the tank water was a little bit warmer than the outside water that they had been sitting in. I think it was just kind of shock to them. Now that I've got that little part of the video out of the way, I actually am going to go try to catch a new fish. A little bit ago, I was shooting my 22 down by this creek of mine, and I ended up seeing a few little small fish in there. Um, I don't know, one of them was actually pretty decent size, and I'm looking for a new fish to put in my tank, so I'm going to go down there with my cast net and a bucket and see if I can't catch this mystery fish. I'm really not sure what this fish is. I know it's not a brim because it's long and skinny, and another thing is it's not a bass because the coloring was different, and it has little stripes, so I'm really intrigued to find out what this fish is. All right, y'all, so I just made it to the creek, and I have some good news. I'm standing on the bridge right now, and underneath me, I did just see that bigger minnow swim off. So I'm going to get out my cast net right now and try to catch this fish. All right, y'all, so here's the plan. I got my cast net right here. I'm going to get this undone, get it all set up. And then if I cannot find where the minnow went, I think what I'm going to do is I actually brought down some backup. I got a fish trap right here. And I'm going to put some dog food in there and set it up overnight if I cannot catch the minnow right now. And then we'll come back and check it in the morning. Alright y'all, got the cast net all set up. I'm just going to go down to the spot where I saw the minnow yesterday. And see if I cannot see it. I don't know, it very well could have moved downstream. Oh, I see a little crawfish. That'd be cool to put in the tank. But, my main goal is to find this minnow. Okay. Oh, I see him. Guys, he's right here. He is right here. I don't, you guys can probably not see him in the water, but I see him. He's hiding underneath these leaves. I still have no idea what this fish is, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the cast net over the top of him and then I'll show them off to you guys. He doesn't seem really scared of me right now, but even still, he's really well camouflaged. I don't even know if how I saw him, but he is one cool looking fish. I'm just gonna try to set this net on top of them. I think I'm gonna have to get a little wet for this. Just place it over them. Bam. Just like that. Okay. I got him in the net. Oh, he knows he's trapped. Okay. I know you guys can really not see this, but basically the fish is right there. There. Okay, look. Swimming around in the net trying to get out. I got him. I got my hands on him. Bam! Just like that. What is that? I know you guys still really cannot see, but what type of fish is that? Is that a perch? I really do not know what type of fish this is. Here, let me get him out of the cast net. Bam! What is that? I'll get a better view for you guys, but I have no idea what this is. Is this a sucker fish? An Arkansas suckerfish? I have no idea here. I'm gonna go get in the light and show you guys this guy a little bit better. I'm not really sure how a creek of this size sustains a fish that's probably three or four inches long. And he's pretty big too. I mean, for this size creek, this creek is only probably two or three inches deep right now. Especially in the spot where he was at. In some places it's a little bit deeper, but year round we do not have water in this creek. So I don't really know how he's living in here. I am going to show you guys this fish in a second, but I need to bring him up into the light out of the creek bottom, and I'm actually going to set up another fish trap to see what I can catch tonight. I'm going to let it sit for about 24 hours and then come check it after school tomorrow and see what I got in it. Alright y'all, so I got the fish trap right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it go down right to the bottom of that creek, 
and now I'm just gonna tie it up up here and then tomorrow in about 24 hours we're gonna come back here and check what we got maybe if we have a crawfish we'll put them in the tank but I don't know maybe we'll catch some more of these little mystery minnows but I'm not really sure all right y'all now that I've got the fish trap set and I'm up in some light I think it's time for me to show you guys the fish all right y'all so he's just kind of chilling in this bucket turn off the air bubbler so you guys can hear me a little bit better but I think what I'm gonna do is just reach on down there try to scoop them up with my hand there we go look at that fish I've never seen anything like it look at him he's like a little sucker fish he's got his little sucker mouth just give you guys a little overlay of him I just want to take a second to kind of admire this fish really pretty got this yellow and black fins up here it's got a purple jawline and those spikes which is I think is crazy I've never seen a fish like that but just a really pretty fish overall the bugs are really starting to get to me and the sun's starting to set so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bucket and go put this guy into the tank All right, y'all, so I'm back home now, and what I'm going to do with this fish is I'm going to let it kind of adjust to room temperature for probably about an hour, just so the tank water and the water that he's in right now kind of get the same level of temperature, and then I'm going to put him into the tank. All right, y'all, so all I'm going to do with this guy is reach down here and get him picked up. I don't have a net right now. I actually lost my other tiny little minnow net, so I'm just going to have to pick this guy up with my hand. There we go that got him Put it over bam just like that down into the tank he's running in the wall right now but he should get adjusted pretty quickly All that's happening right now is the fish is just kind of getting adjusted to the tank. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them overnight in the tank, just let them kind of adjust to it. And then tomorrow I'm going to research some stuff after school, and then we'll see what we can feed them. We'll also have to check that trap tomorrow and see what we got. All right, y'all, so it's the next day now, and the fish is doing pretty good. He's just kind of chilling in there. He's gotten really used to the tank, and I did drop a worm in there about seven hours ago, and I don't see it anymore, so I believe he probably ate it. I did do a little research into what he is, and I cannot find the exact species of what he is. I'm pretty sure he's probably a sucker fish, and those little claws that he has on that gill plate is probably for digging into mud or something like that, but I'm not sure yet. If you guys do know what this thing is, be sure to comment down below. All the fish is doing right now is just hanging out in the back by the filter. He's swimming around a little bit, but mainly he's just back there by that filter. And maybe what I'll do in a little bit is drop in a worm, and we'll see if he'll bottom feed to get it. I believe he is a bottom feeder because of the mouth, but I'm still not 100% sure. Now, I do still have that minnow trap set up down there in the creek, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there and check that. And if I do have a minnow that's a little bit smaller than this guy, probably about half his size, I'm going to end up switching these two out because, for the simple reason, he's a little too big for the tank. I mean, it's a 22-inch tank, and he is probably about 5 inches long, so it's a little crammed for him in there. All right, y'all, so I just made it to the creek, and I'm excited to see what I got in the trap. I already saw some stuff kind of moving around in there, so I know we got something in there. Hopefully some more of those little minnows and maybe some crawfish. I'm going to have to do this one-handed pulling the trap up because my GoPro battery is dead right now. Just going to get down here right next to the water. Pull up this trap. Oh, yeah, we got some stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that those are some colorful crawfish all right y'all so i got the trap up and i have some crazy looking fish in there i don't know if you guys can see that i thought they were orange crawfish but no i have some crazy looking fish in here i've never seen fish like this and i also got a big crawdad in there too i'm gonna get them all out and give them into the bucket and then show them off to you guys better the craziest thing about all this is the creek is not full of water year-round, so I don't really know how these fish got here. And the crazy thing is, it's not just one species, it's two species, and they're both species that I've never seen in my life. So 
I'm not really sure. We're going to have to do some more research on these things and see what they eat. I'm probably sure they probably eat worms because they're living in this creek, but we still have to go look them up. I'm actually going to cut till I'm back up at my house because the camera's about to die, and then I'll talk to you guys and show you guys the fish. All right, y'all, so I'm back home now. I got everything charged, and I got my dog Bugs right here. She's just sitting with me. She is also going to want to look at these fish because she loves to look at them, and she loves to try to eat them. So this should be interesting. All right, y'all, so first things first, what I got here is this big old crawfish that I want to show you guys because he has some really pretty features on him. He's kind of speckled, and then he has those orange-tipped claws, so I thought he was just really cool. In one of these next few videos, I think I'm going to have to catch some of these guys and put them into one of my fish tanks. In one of these next few videos, I think I'm actually going to catch some of these guys and put them into one of my tanks. I did actually get a new tank at PetSmart a couple weeks ago. I think this guy will fit right in. All right, y'all, so I know this is a moment that you've all been waiting for me to show you guys off one of these fish. So I'm just going to try to get one real gently. It's going to be kind of hard to grab one because they're really fast, but once I do get one, I'm going to show them off to you guys. There we go. There's one. Look at the colors on that thing look at the colors it almost looks like a species of snakehead or maybe bowfin just go up by the body shape and the fins but i don't know I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage that I just showed you guys of the fish. I think it is by far one of the prettiest fish I've ever seen. But on a different note, I'm going to take this bucket of water, bring it up to my room, and let it get about room temperature like I did yesterday, and then I'm going to put the two fish into the tank. Alright y'all, so it's been about an hour and a half now and the bucket has gotten time to warm up to room temperature. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two smaller fish and put them into the tank and we'll see how that bigger one and them get along. Alright y'all, so now what I got to do is I got to put these fish in one by one. I already got one right here. I'm just going to bring them up. Bring them over to the tank. Bam, just like that. Swims right to the bottom. Kind of over there by that log. I figured these two are going to probably hang out by the log the most. And this guy's probably going to hang over by the filter. We got number two right here. Bring him up. Over to the fish tank. Bam, just like that. Swimming down right next to that other one. I think they're probably going to chill underneath that log till they get adjusted to this new tank. And then they might start swimming around. All of the fish have kind of settled in now. They're all kind of getting used to the tank and being used to around each other. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to leave them for the night again. And then tomorrow we'll see if that sucker will eat a worm in front of us. And we'll maybe see if those two little ones will eat as well. But now that they've just been moved, I don't think they'll eat anything yet. This video is definitely longer than I expected it to be. All I wanted to do was go down there and catch a sucker fish, but it turned into me catching some really, really beautiful fish. I didn't even know these fish were in the creek when I started today, but now I do. If you guys do want to see me go back down there and set some more minnow straps, be sure to comment and like below, and then I'll go back there and do that. Maybe I'll do a crawfish catch and cook, and I'll be sure to catch more of these pretty fish. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It's been Fishing with Fitz here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.